Hello, it's Robert and Joy Arthur. Hi guys. I have a survey for you. A survey? Yes, and I have a survey for you. So, I would like to know if you make your bed every morning or not. And there is a reason for me asking that. Do we make our bed every morning? Or not. So what are we talking yes. about today anyway? Yeah. So, we're going to be talking about healthy relationships and things that make wives and husbands happy and oh i'm sorry a bug just flew in my eye and we are going to flip yeah. this over and mm -hmm. list some things that make the hubby happy today we're covering Absolutely. more so than not yeah. on the wife's side yeah. wife's perspective so just in case you wondered what started this conversation happy wife happy life yeah. so um i am one of those people that make my bed every day and so i even put the pretty pillows on there every day and so Robert and I have laughed about this for 22 years. So I was out all morning, I came home and the bed wasn't made. So we were joking about that and I said, Robert, what a great thing for a Facebook Live because I have some statistical information that will support my case. So it's not just emotion, it's stats, it's truth, it's science. Okay, so uh, us men want the science, okay? So let's okay, be real. Okay, so here is the science. 68% of uh, people that make their bed men and women men and women tend to enjoy their jobs work out regularly and get more sleep compared to non bed makers who hate the job who hate their jobs avoid the gym and are generally tired according to psychology today and we could never argue with oh, that we couldn't argue with those guys <laughs> so they're more productive yes and and what they're saying is that it's preparing you for a habit so that when you get up that morning um, and you get the bed made, it also prepares you for the things that you don't want to do that day because you've already done one of the things that you really didn't want to do that day is one of their arguments in there. So it's that little daily discipline that you feel good about. Yes, absolutely. Okay. And this is great. The state of your bed is the state of your head. How about that one? If you have a messy cluttered room, then your head is, is and I will tell you, that's true for me. Clutter just sends me over the edge. Like, and probably most women yeah, feel that most way. Women. I think yeah. men can handle clutter better because in their mind, it's what is major clutter to the to the wife yes. is in a lot of cases uh, fairly neat yeah, for the guy. Yeah. So what are your feelings on making the bed every day? Well, it's only one of our activities, uh -huh. so let's stop. Well, I'm just but, curious. No, I'm just, uh, what is your feeling? I, I could give or take, but but I, I do I do agree that when I first of all I make the bed. My main, my number one motivation for making the bed is because I know it makes Joy feel like I care about something she cares about. That's probably my number one motivation. Otherwise, I could care less. If she's yeah. traveling or gone for a few days, uh, the bed may or might, may or may not get made. And sometimes I will make the bed, take a little, literally take a picture, and send it to her <laughs> with a smiley face because I know she'll yeah. I'll get a chuckle. So yeah. she's still the reason mm -hmm. for that. Yeah. So another thing that's interesting in the role of couples and how things happen um, are dishes. So Dishes. Yeah, so I want your feeling about if dishes are in the sink, is that helpful to the orderliness of the house or not? What's your feeling on that? You can ask our listeners too. Yeah. So oh, love to get your I, comments. I, I want all the comments. Yeah, definitely. let's engage yes. with our audience, yeah. not just me. But love to get number one your comments around. Do you make your bed? I would love mm -hmm. to hear your number yeah. one motivation for making the bed. Uh huh. Men especially and women too. Huh. And also back to this subject again. Love to get your number one. So your question was to me about about the uh, dishes. Dishes in the sink. What about? So it? so you have a dishwasher. And so you have dishes and yeah. you have a sink. So in your estimation and the listener's estimation, if the dishes are in the sink, is that helpful for the person that's cleaning the kitchen or kind of taking care of that? Keep in mind that we work together from home. Yeah, we have, yeah. as you know, so many, most situation. of you know, we have a home-based business. Yeah. First off, we don't get that many dishes in the sink because we have a super shake in the morning. <laughs> we have to get our plugs in here, but uh, anyway, yeah. so... So what's your thoughts on that? Again, you, I was chasing some squirrels. So oh, what no. is your main question? You know, this is how we communicate. <laughs> this is a great relationship one on one because she asked me the question I was about to answer. Then I was chasing some squirrels based on her conversation. Yeah. And now 
I'm he trying to yeah. I'm trying to single so, task again. So yeah. what's the main question? So dishes in the sink. Yep. So in your mind, is that helpful for me if you put dishes Talk in so the sink? Talk so they can hear you. Yeah. Is it helpful for you if they put if you put dishes in the sink? Is it helpful to who? For you. For me, not necessarily. Okay, so is it helpful for me? Yes. Okay, so why would you? It's helpful to you because mentally, you like more of a clean and orderly kitchen. Yes. For yeah. me, I, if Joy's traveling, <laughs> then I will, uh, at the end of the day, scramble and put things in this wash or whatever. Yes, yes. I won't yeah. always clean it yeah. as I go. Yeah. And then, if I know she's coming in that night or that morning or the next day, that's when I go into frantic yeah. cleaning up mode. So. Yeah. Now, so keep in mind, so I have been, and so is Robert, where most of you are with your working outside of the home. There are children involved, most likely. There are pets right. involved, most likely. And so it, you know, the whole point of this is how it takes a team. So all the pressure is not on the husband or all the pressure is not on the wife. Well, I would suggest yeah. how it can take a team. Because I think in most households, yeah, that's I, what I, said. How it I don't takes know this, but my point is in most households, it's not a team. I, a lot of times I, I would, it is not. Especially, yeah. I don't want to pick on the South, but I think in some cultures yeah. where it's it's almost more ingrained because yeah. they grew up with the dad and mom that way. Right. But yeah. the, and the woman was the responsible. Woman, that yeah. was kind of her cup of tea. Right. Versus, I think in the more modern day, in different parts of the country yeah. as well, yeah. where it's it's more expected yeah. for both to kind of carry this yeah. load. But so anyway, so so it's just kind of interesting if you if you look at things that you think are helping, that maybe either one of you, if you go the next step forward. I like to clean. Yeah. Yes. I, I do too. It's kind of weird. I know. I'm one of those people too that I love to clean. I just I do. I like to do that. Um. So the other thing that I was thinking about was laundry. I can remember when all three of the children were home, I don't know how the laundry grows, but literally like I would finish and I swear there would be like a whole nother basket waiting for me just in the part of the time I was doing the laundry. It's an ongoing process. So as a um, husband, wife, significant other, friend or whoever that you live with, you know, when passing the washer or the dryer, you know, would it be helpful for you if you just stuck in a load, took out a load, folded them, and kept going and surprised the other one? Well, yeah, and, and one of the things that motivated me for all these activities, the, uh, you know, making the bed, helping with dishes, laundry, I, I forget, it might have been a book or another podcast, and it was something like this lady who was more on the marriage counseling side of things, uh -huh. and she said, the number one way for you men to have more intimacy in your relationships is to help make the bed, help make the dishes and laundry, especially starting early in the morning, and that will lead to <laughs> more special moments uh, versus because you won't any, be as tired versus anything else you could do, yeah. and that's another motivation for us guys as well. Yeah, but sometimes for women, <laughs> and once again we're in the south, it does get overwhelming where you think I've got this time off, but I've spent the whole time cleaning and picking up and all that, and then it's back the same way. So it's just, it just, I'll be honest with you, it makes me a more loving partner when things go orderly and done and that sort of thing. I don't feel overwhelmed about that. Yeah, and it doesn't mm -hmm. take a whole lot that I'm finding, uh, you know, I can just spend a few minutes on any of these activities here we're talking yeah. about and it would still go a long way emotionally and um, mindset wise to my significant other. Yeah. So what I'd love to see in the news feed is, do you make the bed every day? And if so, why? If you don't, why don't guys you make the guys. bed? Guys are guys. Yeah. Both. And the dishes. Is that an ongoing problem in your house? Like, would you like it to go from the the sink to the dishwasher? Or is and it an unspoken? Actually, get put up. An unspoken issue that kind of just you're kind of resentful a little bit or frustrated. That, that happens. But you never talk about it. Yeah. And then the laundry. Like, how does that work in your house? And, and if it's not working, I mean, maybe in the the chat box there. Like, ask for some suggestions from other couples that have kids and working together or working separately. But how does it work in your house and, and make it helpful? Yeah, and I would challenge all of us. I know <laughs> I'm laughing. Bob, one of our good friends, we all know men. Say? We all know men can't do the laundry correctly, and I. I oh yes, they can. And no. that's and that's what I want to call. I want to call myself out. That mm. tends to be. I don't mean to be blunt. That can be a cop out. Um, uh -huh meaning it's kind of a fallback yeah. into, well, it's okay. 
uh, she won't mind. Mm -hmm. So my, I'm, I'm telling myself this, I'm pointing all my fingers at myself, okay? Mm -hmm. That if I allow myself, well, I can't do that correctly. Even making the bed, putting the pillows in the right order, whatever. It is amazing. It's about mm -hmm. the activity yeah. and the willingness to participate that make the difference, yeah. not the really the result yeah. or the having to do it a certain way or level. Mm -hmm. It's just the participating in an activity. Mm -hmm. So Bob, I will tell you this. <laughs> um, Don't mean to pick on you, Bob. Uh, um, <laughs> actually, when we were first married, Robert washed and he knows the story, my black cashmere three-quarter length v-neck sweater that I had saved Her and saved favorite and saved. Cashmere favorite cashmere sweater. And once I got, once I helpfully got through it, it could fit probably an infant. Yes, yeah. Huh. So we have this standing joke about that, but you know, it, it really doesn't take a lot to know that whites go with whites, blacks go with blacks, and anyway, it's just all about the intent of the motion of helping. I think that means so much to a spouse. Especially, you know, when life is really, really busy. You know, it makes it really hard sometimes. Sometimes we feel like Superman and Wonder Woman. Yeah, and other days, not, not so much. It's not just women. Men feel that same way. And, and as with all of our shares, we're just bringing up, especially in our relationship uh, uh, videos that we do, we're just bringing up practical day-to-day -day day stuff living. that we're uncovering <laughs> and other mentors are kind of reminded yeah. us of what does create a lasting healthy loving um, uh, relationship without mm -hmm. without blaming complaining justifying resentment all those lower realm things we want to replace those with contentment happiness joy uh, empowering mm -hmm. affirming each other that's the direction that we strive to go in. Yeah. Do we always accomplish those things? You know, heavens no. <laughs> uh, but again, that's the purpose here and love to get, again, your comments. Yeah. Yeah. So this has been fun. Yes, yeah. yes. Thank you guys, God bless. Yeah. And uh, look forward to your comments. Those seemingly silly and significant things are major in your relationships. <laughs> Bye. Take care, bye-bye. <laughs>